Hi, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me here at Little Light Yoga. I am so excited to have you. My name is Alex Purdy, and I'm a certified yoga instructor, and I'm so excited to be bringing my kids' yoga to this platform. Now, today's theme is all about pets. So if you have a pet, bring them along. Let's have some fun with our pets doing some yoga today. Fortunately, I don't have any, but that's all right. We'll still have fun today. Now, uh, for today, to get ready, make sure that you have maybe some water, a yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can always use the carpet or the floor, whatever you need to do. But just make sure that you're not slipping around too much. Make sure that you're staying safe today. Make sure a parent is watching you. Okay, so after you have all those things, if you need to pause the video, make sure you get all that. Uh, let's get started. So today, we're gonna try to play a balance of getting up and getting moving and having a whole bunch of fun, as well as calming our body down. Because that's what yoga is all about, is integrating and having a good balance between our life and all the things that are going around, as well as having calm and being within our body. So, in order to practice that, I have this little singing bowl. And when I chime it, I want you to get into starfish pose. And we'll do this at the end of every single activity. So let's practice that. Let's go ahead and act all crazy and get all crazy because we're gonna have a lot of fun today. We're gonna move around, show me some jumping jacks, show, show me some punches, show me some kicks. Here we go, let's go ahead and do our bell. Get into starfish pose, laying back on your back, legs out wide, arms out wide, and let's take a deep inhale breath in, and exhale out. And let's go up and get crazy and get moving all again, because we're gonna have a bunch of fun. Get moving, get moving, get moving, get moving, and go back down into starfish pose. Take a deep inhale breath in, and exhale out. Good. Nice job. Now, at the beginning of every single yoga practice, I always like getting into rock pose, just to kind of bring ourselves to the mat and remind ourselves why we're here. So let's go ahead and do that. I want you to take your big toes together, knees out wide, sit your bottom on your heels, and then take your forehead down to the mat. You can take your hands out in front of you or back behind you, whatever you feel is more comfortable. But you keep your head on the floor. If you need to, you can always take two fists and put your forehead on those two fists. I'm gonna sit up so I can talk to you, but you go ahead and stay there in rock pose. As you're there in rock pose, let's take some deep inhale breaths in and exhale breath out. One more time, deep inhale, breath in, and exhale out. I want you to set an intention for the, this practice. And an intention is something that we think about throughout practice to remind ourselves why we're here, why we're doing it. So your intention might be that you wanna send a little bit of light out into the world. You wanna send a little bit of positivity. Or maybe your intention is just to have fun today. Maybe you can set an intention of being able to learn how to calm yourself down when you get angry. Whatever your intention may be, go ahead and say it out loud to yourself now. My intention today is to have so much fun with you. Today is Friday, and so we're gonna have so much fun because today is Friday, and I wanna get a little freaky, I wanna get a little fun, and I wanna get a little moving. Okay, so with that being said, let's come up to a tabletop pose. So have your hands right underneath your shoulders, your knees right underneath your bottom, and let's go ahead and take some cat and cow poses. So breathe in and let's give a big moo as we drop our belly low. And then we're gonna hiss as we round our backs. Good, take a big moo. And hiss. Good, take a big move. And hiss. One more time, move. And hiss. Good, 
I don't know if any of you are cat people or dog people. I certainly feel like I'm a dog person, but that's only because I have cat allergies. Otherwise, I would totally be a cat person. Um, I want to know what you all are. So have your parents take a photo of you getting into either cat pose or you can do downward facing dog. And I want to take a little community poll. Now, we're going to go ahead after you take that photo and move on to another activity. Okay, our first activity today is gonna be a song to get ourselves a little bit warmed up. Okay, so our song is gonna be Where Oh Where Did My Little Doggy Go? And some of you might have heard this song before. And we're gonna be looking for our dog because it got lost. So sing along with me if you know the words and pretty soon you will, okay? Where, oh, where did my little dog go? Where, oh, where could he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Where, oh, where could he be? Good, so we're gonna go ahead and look for him. So let's look up high and look down low. Let's look underneath the couch. See under there? Let's look up at the ceiling. Maybe he's up there. <gasps> there he is. Show me downward dog. Good. Let's do that again. I'll go through each pose this time. So first we're going to reach our hands up in a mountain pose. Then we're going to do a forward fold and touch the ground. Then we're going to come down and lay down on our belly. Then we're going to do upward facing dog and look up at the ceiling and see if our dog's up there. And then we're gonna find our dog. And there he is, downward facing dog. Good, okay. So let's do that song again. Where, oh, where did my little dog go? Where, oh, where could he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long. Where, oh, where could he be? Good, let's look up. Let's look down. Let's get on our belly and look underneath the couch or the bed. Let's look up to the ceiling and see if we can find him there. <gasps> look, we found him. Downward facing dog. Good, let's do that one more time. Oh, where, oh, where could my little dog go? Oh, where, oh, where could he be? With his ears cut short and his tail cut long, where, oh, where could he be? Ready, reach up, let's look up there. Let's look down on the floor. Let's go down on our belly and look underneath the couch. Let's look up at the ceiling. Good, we found him, downward dog. Nice job, everyone. Okay, for our next activity, we're gonna do rainbow breaths. The way this is gonna work is we're gonna make big rainbows with our arms. So we're gonna reach up to the sky and then make a big rainbow arch. But we're gonna do with this with a breath. So we're gonna take an inhale breath in and show me that rainbow. Good. We wanna do rainbow breaths whenever we're feeling, you know, a little bit tense or a little bit angry or a little bit frustrated or stressed and don't know what to do with our bodies. Rainbow breaths can really help calm our body down. So we're gonna do those seven times because there's seven colors of the rainbow. And as we exhale out, we're gonna exhale out a color. Are you ready? Inhale in and exhale out red. Good. This time we're gonna do orange. Ready? Inhale in and exhale out orange. Good. This time yellow. Inhale in. Yellow. Good. This time green. Inhale in. Green. Good. This time blue. Blue. Good. This time teal, my favorite color. Teal. And one more. We're gonna do purple. Ready, inhale in. Purple. Good. After losing my dog and then finding him, I was really stressed, but those rainbow breasts certainly helped me. 
Okay, for our next activity, we're gonna do a little bit of game, but before we get started, let's find our way to a, a starfish pose. Ready? Get in that starfish pose. Good, let's take a deep inhale breath in. And exhale out. Okay, find your way to a seat. We're gonna play a game, and it's gonna be a game on our belly. I gotta teach you the poses first, and then after I teach you the poses, we're gonna play. So I'm gonna be calling out different poses during this game, and I want you to get into those poses. So the first pose that you need to know is dog pose, or upward facing dog pose, if you know that. So we're gonna get into our belly. We're gonna have our elbows in close to us, because we're not chickens for this one, we're a dog. And we're gonna press our belly up and reach our chest up to the sky. Good, that's dog pose. The next one, I want you to come on your hands and knees for this one. We're gonna take our hands close to each other and take one foot out to the side. We're gonna take our back foot and stretch it back. This one is called lizard's pose. So I want you to stick out your tongue and go Good, nice one. Our final pose is gonna be on our bellies. For this one, we're gonna take our fingers back and we're gonna be like fishes. So this is gonna be fish pose. We're gonna wiggle our body and go glub, 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 glub. And I forgot to tell you, those dogs, make sure they bark. But I'm assuming you already knew that dogs barked. So here's the game. I'm gonna call out one of those poses and you're gonna get in them. I'll do the first couple of rounds with you. Are you ready? Show me dog pose. Good. Show me lizard pose. One foot forward, one foot back. Go. Good. Okay, get on your belly for fish pose. Glub, 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 glub. Good. Let's do lizard pose again. Try to switch up your feet. Go. Good dog pose. Go bark, 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 bark. And fish pose. Glub, 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 glub. Good. Now this time, let's do a couple on your own where I'm not showing you. I want you all to get into fish pose. Let's hear those sounds. Glub, 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 glub. Good. Let's do dog pose. Bark, 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 bark. Good. Let's go ahead and do lizard pose. Stick on that tongue. Go. Fish pose. Glub, 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 glub. Dog pose. Bark, 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 bark. Good. Now I'm gonna switch it up a little bit. This time I'm only gonna say the sounds and I'm not gonna say the poses. Can you get into the right pose? Let's try it out. Here we go. Glub, 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 glub. Good, you should all be in fish pose, wiggling that body around. Here we go. Let's do. Good, getting into lizard pose. One foot forward, the other back. Good, let's go. Glub, 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 glub. Yeah, show me that fish pose. Here we go. Bark, 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 bark. Good, you all should be in that dog pose, reaching that chest to the sky nice and high. Let's do one more. Here we go. Good, showing me that lizard pose. Here we go. Let's see what you do after this sound. Oh, awesome. You all are pros. You're getting in that starfish pose, laying back in your, on your back, ready for a big breath all together. Take an inhale breath in and exhale out. Find your way to a seat. I want you sitting on your knees. So having your bottoms touching your heels sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna do another breath together. This time we're gonna do snake breath. And I want you to picture that you're a slithery little snake. Okay, so sitting on up. Take a deep inhale breath in. And let's hiss out of our mouth, go Good, 
Let's see how long you can make those hisses. Ready? Take a deep inhale, breath in. And snake it out. Give me another one. Take a deep inhale, breath in. And Okay, y'all, I have another amazing game. When we're in person, this is everybody's favorite game. All right, this game is Freeze Dance. So, the benefit of doing these uploaded videos versus live videos is I actually get to put music on here. So I'm gonna put a bunch of music on here and you're gonna dance around your mat or whatever space you have and you're gonna dance all over and you're gonna get super crazy. But when I pause the music, you're gonna find your way into a yoga pose, whatever yoga pose you want it to be. Whatever you do, freeze for as long as I have you there. And I want you to say to anybody else in your room, your parents, your siblings, tell them what pose you're calling it. Doesn't have to be a real pose. I want you to get fun and creative with this one. So, are you ready? Let's go ahead and put on that music and dance around. Dance it up. And stop. There we go. What pose are you in? Tell everybody around you what pose you have found yourself in. Give it a name, any name. Okay, let's get started again. Put that music back on, dance it around. There we go. What pose are you in? Tell everybody around you what pose you have found yourself in. Give it a name, any name. we go. What pose are you in? Tell everybody around you what pose you have found yourself in. Give it a name, any name. And stop. Good. That was our final one. Give us your final yoga pose, whatever it may be. Nice job. And I'm going to grab my bells. And after all that moving around, all that craziness, let's find a starfish pose. Once you're there, go ahead and take a deep inhale breath in. And exhale out. Okay, it is time to move on to our challenge poses. And I wanted to do what's called a flow. And a flow, if you want to picture a flow, like when we picture a flow, we generally picture like a river moving down the stream, the water flowing. And in yoga, especially adult yoga, we tend to do a lot of flows, moving from one pose to the next pose to the next pose, picturing like we're water moving through a river. I want to do the same thing today. And we're going to do three different poses to move us from flow to flow to flow, from pose to pose to pose. So our challenge pose today is gonna to be what's called Chaturanga. Can we say that? So, shot, R, Ranga. Good, Chaturanga. Good, and what that is, is it's kind of basically a push-up. But where a push-up, you're gonna have your arms out to the side and go down 
we want to have for a chaturanga our elbows going backwards, back behind us. You might need to have your parent help you. For this, I want you to lean your body forward and slowly lower yourself to the ground, okay? Depending on what, how you're feeling today, you might want to put your knees down on the ground and that might help you lower yourself down. However you get down from standing up here all the way down the ground, I want you to do it really slowly, okay? So for this challenge pose, let's see how slowly you can go down to the ground. All the way down. Good job. Let's practice that a couple more times. We're gonna get those arms really sore. You're gonna have big muscly arms after this one. All right, ready? Come on up and slowly lower yourself down onto the ground. Good. One more time, ready? Lean your body forward and lower yourself down. Good, nice job. So, this is a really good energizing flow. It means that we can really get energetic. I don't know about you, but after a couple of those chaturangas, my heart is beating so fast. So, let's go ahead and do a couple more poses into this. So, both of these poses we've already done today. So, after we lower ourselves down to the ground, we're gonna lift our chest up off the ground. And then, we're gonna push ourselves back over our knees, upward to downward facing dog, lifting those bottoms up in the air, and pressing back with our hands into like an upside down V. Then, we're gonna lean ourselves forward and come into that push up position, and lower ourselves slowly down to the ground, and up to upward facing dog again. Whew, you're getting sweaty like I am. Let's do that a couple more times. Are you ready? Downward facing dog. Lean yourself forward. Maybe you put your knees down for this one and lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Inhale all the way up to upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Whew. Let's take a breath. Shake it out. Shake it all good. Look at my hair going back and forth. Woo! -hoo. Here we go. Let's do it one more time and then we'll be done with this challenge series. Okay, so starting in push-up position, lower yourself down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good, nice job. I'm gonna give you a high five right here. You give yourselves a high five. Give yourself a big hug. If there's anybody else in the room, go and give them a big hug. Give them a high five. Nice job, everyone. Okay, let's go ahead and take a starfish pose. Laying on down. I bet it feels really good to lay on down after that challenging series. Take a deep inhale breath in. And exhale out. When you're ready, let's go ahead and sit on up. Because for this one, I'm gonna have you be extra creative. We're gonna create our own poses for this series. I want you to go ahead, and as you're sitting there, picture your favorite animal inside your head. It can be any animal, but I want you to imagine an animal that you could have inside your house. I don't know, maybe that rhinoceros that you're picturing or that elephant that you want in your backyard. I don't know. But whatever you do, try to think about an animal that you really want as a pet. And once you have that animal, I want you to go ahead and start moving around like that animal. My favorite animal is a frog. So I might move around like a frog here. Maybe your favorite animal is a tiger. So you move around like a tiger. Or maybe your favorite animal is an elephant and you start moving around the room with your giant trunk. Whatever it might be, start moving around your mat. Start moving around the room like your animal. So here I am in my frog pose. Good, and go ahead and find yourself into one pose. Show me your animal pose. Good, have your family member, your guardian, your parent, whoever it is, take a picture of you in your animal pose. And let's name that pose after you. 
So mine's gonna be Alex's frog pose. Good. And if you're not quite ready, you can pause the video. Otherwise, find your way into frog pose with me. Good. Now, in here, in frog pose, we're gonna take a deep inhale breath in, and then we're gonna stick out our tongues and go and breathe out. Are you ready? Deep inhale breath in, and stick out those tongues. Good, one more time. Deep inhale, breath in. And stick out those tongues. Pretend like you're getting those flies, eating your dinner tonight. Take a deep inhale, breath in. And stick out those tongues, breathe out. One last time. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and find our starfish pose. Good. So our next part at the end, toward the end of every single yoga class, we always find our way into starfish pose and try to get nice and relaxed and comfy. So if you want, you can pause the video and find yourself a pillow and a blanket and get super extra comfy. Maybe you even get into bed and get super comfy with this one. And I'm gonna talk to you as you start to zone off into your meditation. For meditation, the purpose is just to find that peace. So whether you imagine what I'm telling you to imagine, or whether you imagine your own story, whatever it might be, all I want you, my intention for you, is to find that peace. I want you to imagine that you are a pet. I want you to imagine that you have become that animal that you so wish to have. And I want you to imagine that you are about to pet yourself because pets love to be pet. So go ahead and take your fingers up to your head and rub them in your hair, giving yourself a little massage, a little pet here. You can give yourself a fur massage by squeezing really hard or be really soft just so long as it feels good to you. Continue moving your fingers through your hair. Let yourself just focus on the feelings and the sensation of petting yourself. Go ahead and gently move your fingers down to your face, massaging your cheekbones and your chin your jaw. Then move your hands down to your shoulders and give them a rub. Moving to one of your hands, give it a squeeze and a rub. And then when you're ready, switch hands and give your other hand a little massage. When you're ready, go to your chest and your stomach. Give yourself a little bit of a scratch. Scratch your belly like you're a dog. Want, you can lay back, let your hands down, or you can continue onto your legs and feet. Whatever you do for the next minute or so, just find yourself in peace.
Okay, little yogis, go ahead and wing wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Stretch like you're waking up first thing in the morning. Mm, give me that juiciest, most yummy stretch that you have. Reach around, give yourself a big hug, and then roll over onto your side in a little ball. When you're ready, push yourself up to a seated position. Here in this seated position, go ahead and roll your shoulders back and sit up nice and tall. Let's take one deep inhale breath in together and exhale. I am so honored that you chose to come and practice with me and I hope that you feel honored by all the other yogis joining you from around the world in this yoga practice. Now, I do want to remind you of a couple things. I am going to be doing yoga videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uploading those for you for as long as I can do this for, because I want to continue practicing with you. And if you all enjoy my videos so much, I've got a donation page down below, and you can go and give just a little bit, and all the money is going to go back into funding the different things that I might need for these videos. So please do that. Don't forget to like and subscribe down here if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, parents, please, I've got all my Instagram and Facebook. I so miss teaching these classes in a public setting where I can see and interact with all of your kids. So I, it, it just warms my heart when anybody sends me pictures and photos and I'll even post them on my story or on my page uh, to give a little bit of attention to your child. But with that, let's go ahead and wrap up this session. So little yogis, please take your prayer hands to your forehead. Because today I wish for you kind thoughts to yourself and others. And take your prayer hands to your mouth. Because today I wish for you kind words to yourself and others. And then take your prayer hands to your heart because today I wish for you kind actions to yourself and others. And we bow and say namaste, because it means peace to you and peace to the world, and we certainly need a lot of little lights to shine wherever you are. Thank you, and have a good day.